your relationship with IEMCA and when did it start? Because I know you've got a lot of their bar feed units. Yeah, we started in about 2002. Um, we have about, I think, 16 bar feeders, IEMCA bar feeders. Um, I mean, we're specifically looking here at a multi-spindle, but have you got single spindle well, as we well? We've got single spindles. Um, we've only got five now, up to date. In the last four years, we've purchased five uh, multi-spindles. Similar to the one that we have here? Yeah. Uh, four MS40s and one MS32. So the, 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 mar the, the bar feed market, there's, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot to, there's a lot of people offering bar feeds. Why, in your opinion, are IEMCA popular, and why did you select them? I think I think uh, the flexibility of the um, the cam system that they use, quicker changeover, uh, fast loading system. It takes about 40 seconds to load a bar. Um, How would that compare? Do you think to maybe some others? Uh, I wouldn't like to comment on that, but um, it's quick. It's quick, yeah, it's quick, pretty quick, and, and it's very, re very reliable. So, of all the problems we've had in our, in our CNC index department, I think the bar feeder has been the less problematic. So, I mean, and it's so important, isn't it, when you're in the kind of market that you're you're in with multi-spindle manufacture, to make sure that not only the spindles are turning, but you're feeding the spindles. Exactly. Yeah. Some of our cycle times were eight seconds. Eight seconds, if a uh, bar feeder breaks down, there's a lot of parts that you don't produce. Um, yeah, so it's very important to us that we have a reliable bar, feed, bar loader. And so what kind of diameters are you turning and what, what are you feeding on, on your multi-spindles? We turn, I think the smallest we've gone to so far, 18 millimetre, and we go up to 40 mil. So and what type of materials? Mild steel, stainless steel, uh, PN32, because so I believe that the, the lubrication element is a big point as well on the IM car, isn't it? Very, very important, yeah. And it's, uh, when you see one of these working, the amount of oil flooding the part bars, it's uh, quite impressive, yeah. Tell us a little bit about your company, Vic. The company is, uh, it's been going for 50 years, slightly more than 50 years. We predominantly an uh, automotive manufacturer. We're trying to get into other sectors of the market. And uh, we've got... 21 CNC machines in the last 16 years, so we're progressing quite nicely. Yeah, that's more than one a year. I've more got than one a year. Yeah, very good. I think. And the volume of uh, component that you're manufacturing, what, what, what sort of what sort of quantities? We on one machine, one of these MS40s, we can make 60,000 parts in one week. Really? 60,000 parts. Yeah. Okay, now to you then, is, is the bar feed as important as the machine tool when you're selected? It's as important, if not, yeah, very important. Brilliant, thank you Vic. Okay.